you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the New York Giants. And the longtime Panther Graham Gano has us set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Right to the air. Here's Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us for their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Big play from a big man. Kayvon Thibodeau off the edge and dropping him behind the line. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Throwing now is Murray. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down, Murray flush to his right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Throwing again on second down. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for Giants first down. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he slings one that's incomplete. But he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Up the middle with Barkley. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he is going to have the Giants first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. 
And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Throwing Jones. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down. Barkley inside handoff. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. A handoff to Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley taking it in from four yards out. And the Giants are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Gano the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive. He's got a man complete! And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the exit. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The corner blitz pays off there as a second for a loss of five. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Murray. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. And the Giants are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defensive perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. They'll start out on the ground as Saquon Barkley. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go to Barkley again. 
And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Barkley. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Jones. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. To try again after the sack. Jones. And he whips that one incomplete there. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. To throw again on second down, Murray. Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So he gets caught trying to extend the play, and he ends up watching them score on an interception instead. And what's the old power of Brandon? Discretion is the better part of valor. Certainly applies here. You have to admire what he tried to do, extending the play and trying to make something happen. But he definitely needed discretion. Throw it away, run it, do anything other than throw that pick six. time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive of the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They'll run for it with Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Throwing on second and three. Jones over the middle. That's hauled in by Tony. He's got room at the 30. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run it again with Barkley. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 109 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A first down carry for Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it's now 21-7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game.
And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw is Murray. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Throwing on first down is Murray. His throw incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. To throw, it's Murray. Steps away to his left. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point good by Prater. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 148 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. That's complete left side to Shepard. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard, 49 yards. And the Giants have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Gano the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. 
On the move past the 40. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They fake the handoff now Murray. Dancing to his left. And this is intercepted and that should do it. And the Giants are going to take over here at their own 22 yard.